Greetings, Internet, Merry Christmas, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week, I'm doing a trilogy. That's right, I'm doing all three of the Stupendium's Christmas Villains songs, starting with a very scary Christmas from two years ago, the Horror Holidays song from last year, and The Fright Before Christmas from this year. But we're going in order. We're starting with A Very Scary Christmas. Uh, before we get started, if you like these videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. That really helps me out. Uh, gets the uh, this onto more eyeballs. And uh, if you really want to help out, you can check out my Patreon, where your support there helps me make more videos like this, my own music and my own music videos as well. I released some songs exclusively on Patreon to my Patreon followers there this month uh, for an EP that comes out next year. So, all that out of the way, let's get right into the holiday festivities, shall we? Very scary Christmas. Three videos. This is gonna be a long one, so... Introduction short, here we go. Glad to see you set the same logo for a while. I wake up on Christmas Day, I go knocking for my parents, but no one's awake. I must admit this intro seems a little cliche, but <laughs> I won't let a thing like missing parents get in my way. I love the art style. It's great, uh, and also it's a little subdued for uh, for for Stipendium here. Uh, but I dig it. I dig it. I dig it a lot. It was a little loud at the beginning there. Sorry about that. Hey, I go knocking for my parents, but no one's awake. I must admit this intro seems a little cliche, but I won't let a thing like missing parents get in my way. Jolly. I'm checking around, I notice something's wrong. I don't remember leaving my steam lock dumb. There's a yeah. miss by that forbidden on the letter that I'd written as a click, and I can see that all my games are gone. Oh my. That is a horror. There's some minky footprints next to the fan. Oh, gee. And at the window, there's the figure of a tall thin man. So I grabbed my crappy little torch and I ran. Someone called Tim Burton. <laughs> it's really quite the scene. Yeah, I thought that this was Christmas. But it feels like Halloween. So I actually tweeted to the Stipendium about their newest Christmas song. Uh, and Because somebody had told me that it's part of a trilogy. It was the third part in the trilogy. And uh, I, I messaged them asking, should I watch the other two? Is there going to be references that I'm going to need for the third one? Uh, and they said, you can... You, it's, you know, they're connected, but it's not necessary for it. Uh, but do watch out for some, some iffy harmonies. <laughs> and I went, have you, have you listened to my songs? I'm familiar with them, iffy harmonies. Uh, <laughs> I can see what he means here, but uh, at the same time, I'm a lot worse. <laughs> this, this is by no means bad. Iffy, sure, but by no means bad. Uh, I'm digging this. This is not quite... Uh, the same style that, that I'm familiar with, with uh, Stupendium. Uh, it's not nearly as fast-paced, not nearly as much a hip-hop song. This is just a straight-up Christmas tune, which is cool. I dig that. I do weird Christmas songs myself, obviously. That's why I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan. I have to keep reminding some people of that. Anyway. Off steam. Well, I didn't think that Santa would take me. 
Literally into the kitchen to see what awaits me to find ready fast there making the gravy. That's horrifying. Honey, the bunny is chopping the run of beans. Foxy is scotty, auction puddings are baking. The cheeky thing lurking, she chippily chirping, and eagerly working and stuffing the turkey. Now there we're getting into the familiar rhyme. No, I, I almost I want to say rhyme scheme, but that's wrong. The familiar cadence that that stupendium has and the the twists on internal rhyme schemes uh f freaking fabulous stuff uh obviously all five nights at freddy's characters uh i'm seeing in the title five nights at freddy's uh bendy which is bendy and the ink machine baldy i'm not familiar with so that one will be an interesting one and then ddlc ducky ducky literature club That'll be fun. And more! So, alright. This is a six minute song and we're in almost two minutes in and I've stopped four times. It's gonna be a long video for Christmas, kids! I'm sorry for my... Alright. But I hope that's all that ends up stuff tonight <laughs> the golden Brady suit there is just my size Oh dear. These guys aren't as scary as they were before Alright. Slender man's hanging mistletoe over the door. Slender man, alright. A Dr. Trague is making paper snowflakes on the floor. Not familiar with that one. Well, pyramid head hogs all the green triangles. <laughs> Someone called Tim Burton, cause it's really quite the scene. Yeah, I thought that this was Christmas. But it feels like Halloween. I don't know if you, you know this about me. I like non-traditional Christmassy things. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, this is... This is right up my alley. I dig this. When I put on my wish list That all my favorite characters get let off the Slender Man Christmas card. Well, I didn't think Santa would take me literally down by the presents the fun that he beckons. Oh dear. Every gift has a new furry friend in, but soon mama's tuck them all back in their bed in. The batteries only ever seem to last ten seconds. Puts a gang of Carolyn out in the yard. What's Bendy and Boris a sign in their cards as I know of the character of Bendy, but I've not played Bendy in the Ink Machine yet, so if all of that was a reference to it, over my head. Uh, that said, again, excellent verses. Uh, the thing about batteries only lasting 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so weird, like, how Christmas and parents have to evolve with the gifts that they give. Because when you were a kid, uh, make sure batteries are included for the toys that you buy because otherwise it's a sad Christmas because you bought a toy and it doesn't do the thing because there's no batteries inside. Now, if you're giving game systems at Christmas, open it up carefully, plug it in, sign it onto the network, download all the updates, install the games so that this way when the kid opens it or the adult, uh, Everything is already set up and you don't have to wait all goddamn day. Modern problems require modern solutions. And those just look like evil Furbies. Which, I don't know, they might be. Only ever seem to last ten seconds The butcher gang of Carolyn out in the yard With Bendy and Boris a sign in their cards Bacon soup? SCP-173, well he's bad at charades He's as fast as you like, but he can't move his arms <laughs> All the kids are playing their new toys and games It's Six's turn, but Emily wants to play Nice! Getting everybody in Granny keeps trying to take the teddy away. That's a little nightmares, right? I, that's what, what Six is from, anyway, is little nightmares. I'm not sure Emily and Granny's just just a horror game called Granny, isn't it? I, I remember them playing that on Game Grumps last 
Halloween, I think. Or maybe a couple Halloweens ago. Anyway. Yeah. References. Mrs. Baker's Bacon has a most peculiar taste. That's Resident Evil 7. That, yeah. Some I'm gonna get, and some I'm gonna miss. I haven't played everything out there. I do play a lot of games. Do like a lot of video games. My backlog is too much. But I do also have pop culture osmosis, so I kind of absorb a lot of things that I haven't played. I haven't played Little Nightmares. I just know that was from Little Nightmares and Granny. And Resident Evil 7, I got into the house and that's where I stopped playing. Because I got too scared. I didn't, I didn't want to poop myself. But I love all the Resident Evil games. I played all of them. All of them. Even the ones that you're thinking of. Yeah, I played that one too. Uh, but uh, I didn't get very far in 7. I'll get to it eventually. I will never play it in VR. I w you may as well just play that bare ass sitting on a bucket. Because you're, you're going to poop yourself. It, n no. Not happening. For me. I'll play it, just not, not like that. Just, no. There's your DDLC. <laughs> Don't know that one. <laughs> Or Sandra Cohen's curate in the playlist. <laughs> I'll spend it boxing day at the neighbors. Oh, nice. So long as I don't go in the basement. Uh, the Hello Neighbor guy. Yeah, I've played that. I, I played that on stream a while ago. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know what they chose me to hold. The Christmas festivity <laughs> But I pray To Alice Angel up on top of that tree Oh goodness <laughs> That to take the corpses when they leave Oh, and then you got a xenomorph popping out of the turkey Just That's a That's from Doom, I think or it should be. Ah, uh, that could be. I mean, it's either. I mean, it, it's it's probably from Undertale. It's probably Flowey from from Undertale. But at first, first blush, I thought it was one of the sunflowers from Zombies. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Um, but it's a little too evil for Plants vs. Zombies. Those are happy, happy little sunflowers. This one's this one's a little evil. And they're all villains, so th that makes more sense in the brain area of the thinking. This is great. This is a great Christmas tune. I dig this a lot. Some references I'm missing, but overall I think I think a lot of them I'm getting and there's it's just it's just a fun Christmas tune about evil killers from video games being jolly. Cool. And the music's great too, I like this little instrumental breakdown. <laughs> wow. Aww. All my new friends had to go home. But they left me with the best memories I've known. No. And an awful lot of blood stains out in the snow. <laughs> the knife as oh, the well, nose. My folks are okay. I guess I should mention they just spend the day in a pocket dimension, <laughs> running for their lives from the demon that chased them. Now they constantly scream, but they bought me a PlayStation. So someone <laughs> called a. <laughs> they constantly scream, but they bought me a PlayStation. It was a PlayStation Five. This is two years ago. I Stipendium, have you gotten one yet? I'm just curious. I, I haven't. I was I wanted to get one this year, but they I could never get there in time. And also, 
I'm going to wait. It's a launch system and there's there's issues. But, you know, hope 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 you're good. I wonder if that's what his parents actually look like. That's just that's great. Stay in a pocket dimension, running for their lives from the team and the chase. And now they constantly scream, but they bought me a PlayStation. So someone <laughs> call up Mad Cat. <laughs> it seems like a fearless dream. I know it may be fun in concept, the lore implications might break at the seams. <laughs> I guess even evil characters just. <laughs> the lore implications might break at the seams. <laughs> That's a brilliant line. Uh, that's great. Crossovers, man. Yeah, that's good. I know it may be fun in the call out the Matt Pad. might break at the seams. I guess even evil characters just need to let off steam. They just wanted one day's holiday for making Markiplier scream. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, and he's... Some of those names are, are very uh, Christmassy. Beatles, Elbub, and... and uh, oh, that's... That's great. Some of them were, were a little changed. Some of them are not. Bravo. Let's move on to the next one. Another holiday horror. You know, the festive season often gives pause to ruminate on the important things of life. <laughs> friends, loved ones. That time hordes of video game villains crawled out of my computer to eat turkey and wear party hats. It's a very good Rod Serling voice impression. Uh, Twilight Zone reference. This one's live action, obviously. Uh, I like. I appreciate that the first video was all animated, kind of a storybook kind of thing. It was great. Um, but we're, we're moving into the third dimension now. And, uh, Beyond Sight and Sound, Rod Serling, Twilight Zone thing. Yeah. One year ago, you may recall, a horde of horrors came to call to deck the halls and trim the tree. Escaped their games and came to me. Well, one year on, no, I'm not scared. I've sent the invites. I'm prepared for all the monsters, blood and gore. <laughs> I've laid some touch down on the floor. It's another horror holiday. I love the style change. It's still Christmassy. But it's as if a different artist suddenly stepped in. I uh, I dig that. I dig that a lot. It's a it's, it's very Brian Setzer Orchestra kind of uh, feel to it. It's it's almost the original Vince Vance. Uh, uh, All I want for Christmas is you kind of feel. Uh, yeah, I'm digging that. That's a, that's an excellent stylistic change. Again not in the normal style that we hear from the stupendium not speedy raps and things but uh yeah that is that is good i dig that a lot and also laying down the tarps forward thinking blood and gore i've laid some tarps down on the floor love his jumper it's another horror holiday more bacon soup. Won't be further in the murder till January. Oh my god. See, that's the thing though. It's it's still very much stupendium because of the internal Ryan schemes and just the connections and what he gets what the actual rhymes that he actually does, and it's not your typical what one would think of as for a rhyme. You've got your basic rhymes and then you've got your more internal rhymes and your, your more complex rhymes and the different meter and scale for those. And he always goes for the ones that you never expect and it's, it's brilliant. Because a lot of singers, you can kind of predict what the next line might be because you know what the line is going to rhyme with. And when they subvert that expectation, it's always enjoyable for me, at least. So, uh, digging that. On another horror, horror. 
See now that's that's the thing that this is benefiting from a lot for for me is uh, it's a video too so we're we're seeing a lot more visual jokes a year later from the first one the first one had the storybook look to it and you could get a lot of jokes in through the drawings but this just his reactions to seeing the gifts and just going no to both of those was already funny and then seeing that they're from uh, Monica uh, and uh, Yanderchan. Uh, Jet, mm. uh, open mine first or she's dead open hers first and she's dead just just don't either just it's good yeah this is chef's kiss wonderful I love it <laughs> just that look on his face it's another horror holiday for me Nice. Again, internal rhyme. Great. Nick and Boris are getting excited. It's Pyrrhal and Benjamin very light. The animatronic that follows demonic. Unlike the Sonic that Bonnie invited. Little Miss Fortune, her glittery glisten. So she draws her face on the rock she was given. The SCPs are trimming the tree. The roads are so pleased to not be imprisoned. And now we get into Stupendium Speed. Fantastic. Granny and Grandpa start to slumber, Bierce and Baldy dance a number, Mr. X as you'd expect, detecting Mr. X must jump her, the <laughs> bandit and the puppet brought each other string replacement. Oh, how sweet. Hey, Loki and the neighbor share the love of creepy basement. Grandpa <laughs> is out in the snow, she's hanging with the Lewis Fredders and Zoe, now she's nice. Yeah, a little Left for Dead reference in there. I appreciate that. That's good stuff. And Alma from Fear. Ah, good stuff. Replacements, Aoki and the neighbors. I don't know Aoki though. Or Frambo. She's hanging with the Lewis Fredders and Zoe. Now she traded meds with Alma and her eyes are kind of glowy. You know we won't ever be starving. Maxwell and Charlie have started the carbon. Though the goose has run away and stolen heat. Another goose game, why not? Oh, oh no. Blood splatter on the wall. A, that's a horrible advent calendar. Just a finger. Ugh. Here's the thing, doing all your Christmas shopping in, in October is one thing, but doing all your Christmas video prop shopping in October is... It's a thing, actually, we all do. Uh, honestly, he probably didn't have to do shopping for these, he probably already had them. I mean, I've got my collection of severed arms in the closet. That sounds weird to uh, say like that on the video, I should say prop not real ones for Halloween I'm I'm just going to go back to this Wow and showed and think the PlayStation is broken, but the truth is which trap filled it up with hidden past their token. Gordon the hiss a drunkenly kiss on over they know where the mouth of that is in the garden in the garden staff of barely killed me kids. Arts and crafters making cards. Wow the clerk has brought them just just random dead space. We're getting we're getting into some deep cuts in here. That's good stuff. And Gladys and yeah, it's Ah, he's just going through the gamut now. Parker's rules, he's cozy in a scar. Uh, by a shot. His gloves are slightly harder. Mr. Hippo, Mr. Voice, and Mr. Hops has struck a chord. Wow. Lost the slendy tubby's bingo amongst a million different holes. That's just, uh... That's just a disturbing image all around. Just... That's, a. Uh, I'm staring at that, and that's gonna haunt my nightmares. Cool. 
salad annoyed with oil it makes the local get suspicious <laughs> see and all the hunters dreaming of a blood red christmas don't you panic i have a plan for all the things they've impaled just invite the guys who work this on clean up detail excellent <laughs> good reference it's another horror holiday Oh, great. <laughs> Love Dead Rising. Ooh. Things getting creepier. Nice. <laughs> Sands and papyrus don't meet the requirements, but they're here anyway. Oh, and that internal rhyme again. Oh, that was so good. Oh my god. Uh, I uh, I love it. I love it so much. And just the sunken eyes happening more. Another horror holiday, but when Christmas is through, you know that they'll be coming for you. Whoa! Some uh... thanks for watching, and a huge festive thanks to my patrons for making this video possible. Excellent stuff. Song, please do like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out last year's Christmas song. As well as all oh, the look, he's got the whole course, talking in the end now. Check out his Patreon, of course, if you haven't already. Lots of blood to clean up, yes. And now, this year's The Fright Before Christmas. Oh, he's got a, got a Rudolph nose and antlers on that logo this time. This time every year I am forced to face my fears As hordes of evil villains come to stay And we get another genre shift slightly. I dig it, man. I... Stretch, as an artist, it's great. Don't just do your one style. I love it. Uh, we, we know him for a lot of the, the, the rap that he does, but this is just so much more. It, uh... That's the again. I've said this before in, in a previous video on on other artists, but that's the beauty of comedy music. Comedy music is a genre of itself, but can do so many different genre styles. You can have country comedy music, you can have disco comedy music, you can have comedy hip hop, obviously, but then you can also have. I mean, Christmas songs are a novelty as it is, but Christmas novelty songs, just stacking on stacks. I like it a lot is what I'm saying. I'm running out of ways to say that, but whatever. Smiling ear to ear and spreading blood and gore and cheer Why not? instead of killing things in their video game. Seeing Alan Wake on the screen there, an alien. But this Christmas Eve as I sit scrolling through my scene, waiting for it all to start again. <laughs> A lot of games there. I wrecked darkness fills the screen and oh, nice. pixel starts to scream. I think this year I get to go to them. And the and the go. This is this is called upping your budget. <laughs> that's that's excellent. Uh I also game recognize game and game recognize a backlog of games. Let's just say that that's uh that's quality stuff. Starts to scream. I think this year I get to go to them. Wendy and the Wendigo tell cracker jokes with Slendio, the Coco from SCP 294. Oh man. Whilst Boris and Alice Angel help King Guy set the table. Getting Cuphead in there. Murder monkey to sharpen knives and forks. Baldy counts to ten for some festive hide and seek. Piggy's hiding on the table with an apple in her teeth. Some of his best rhymes in this trilogy are in are in the new song, the uh, the fright before Christmas. Uh, I I really like the way this one flows, and I really like the the meter and the internal rhymes in each line when i say internal rhymes also i'm saying the rhyme within the line before you get to 
the end of the line that is your proper rhyme outside of that. So you have, you know, you have a, a line that's A, B, A, B, you know, and the B's rhyme and the A's rhyme. Just as an example, not saying that that's what that song did, but within those A lines and those B lines are lines that rhyme with themselves within that line. Um, and that's that's what I mean by internal rhymes. It may not be the right term for that, but that's what I mean when I say it. And uh, I always dig those kind of uh, rhymes within lines that are also going to be rhyming with a separate line. Uh, you get what I'm saying, and if not, I'll try explaining it better next time. <laughs> All the counts to ten for some festive hide and seek. Is hiding on the table with an apple in her don't, teeth. Again, I Granny don't know what either of those. By the fire. There's Granny. To get some and an evil Furby on the and table. The mantle. Cat is in her lap, but won't fit on the sea. Falling <laughs> uh, over. This isn't typically the sort of Christmas I'd enjoy. I was sat at my computer, then I slid into the void. Filled to the brim with villains who could all have me destroyed But they're all too preoccupied with opening their toys 364 <laughs> days a year, they're rather vicious There's not much time off in the killing business It's true Now the keeper's leaving giblets on the plate with Santa's biscuits Ugh. Here upon the fried before Christmas <laughs> the rake has gone ice skating Whilst the puppets do the baking And Rod makes snow cones full of meat and hair Again, some of these I don't get Roommates and imposters Trade gifts with amnesia monsters Ah, we've got Among Us finally in here A game that came out two years ago But has only been popular this year It's on Switch now And yes, if you're wondering And if you've also gone through this so far half an hour video <laughs> and been waiting for me to say something about it I meant to say it at the beginning and I'm sorry the Among Us video is coming out later the reaction to Stupendium's Among Us video is coming out later after this one I figured I'd get this Christmas one done by Christmas it's just how it is and also this video is long and longer when I pause like that okay here we go but each time I look there's one less crew like that <laughs> The evil nun and help is told a special midnight Doom Eternal, yeah To ancient gods and devils There's like 30 different versions <laughs> And McIntyre and Jeffrey Hawk Put on the wow. festive circus Wow That's some deep cuts and some clowns there uh, Adam McIntyre is from uh, Dead Rising Jeffrey Hawk Oh, it looks familiar and I cannot, I can't place it where it's from. If you've made it this far into the video and know, let me know. Because he looks familiar. I, I should recognize it and just draw a blank right now. And if you're thirsty, then Francis York Morgan brought a thermo. Wow. Again, we're, we're getting, we're getting more deep cuts on, uh, uh, on the, the game references. Uh, FK and the coffee. Uh, why can't Deadly Premonition? That's what it's called. Uh, excellent. Good. Just bring all. Alan Wake's gonna show up, I'm sure. We're gonna get. We're gonna get uh, characters from Control. Jesse. Sure. I can see it happening now. Uh, uh. Three sixty-four days a year. They're rather vicious. Patriots <laughs> me by New Year. It's back to business. Oh, nice. There's a there's a reference within a reference. That's uh that's from uh, Death and Taxes, a game which Stupendium did a song about, which I reacted to, which I then played after it because I didn't realize it was a game until afterwards, and now Stupendium is in. It's like referenceception. Frank Whittle sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm sure it's just coincidence. And there you go. Frank Whittle sounds familiar, but I'm sure it's just coincidence. Uh, that's who he voices in the game, obviously. It's good. It's awesome. I auditioned and I didn't get in, but 
that doesn't matter. It's still awesome. And I was, you know, thankful to even audition. It was very fun. Here upon the Friday before Christmas, Tassie <laughs> and the Carry On are sitting watching Carry On films whilst it's still their turn on the TV. As the neighbor and the oh, Nemi wait to play on the Genesis <laughs> for speedrun tips from Sonic Dirty SC. Gotta go festive. <laughs> the glamour of Fazbear Gang have got that rockin' Christmas sound. <laughs> but Fanny seems to know my name and it's freaking me out. <laughs> the ghost from Phasmophone. Another recurring gardens all around. Nice. Then Siren Head comes caroling and wow. blows them all back down. The carols for cryptids. <laughs> This isn't typically the sort of Christmas I'd enjoy. I was sitting so waving computer, in the background. Then I slid into the void. Filled to the brim with villains who could all have me destroyed. But they're all too preoccupied with opening their toys. It's getting a little more demonic again. Days a year, they're rather vicious. There's not much time off in the killing business. It's true. Monica, Annie, and Derek and they're fighting over my gifts as we celebrate <laughs> the fright before Christmas. Gifts as we celebrate. I wake oh. up at my computer after all the festive cheer. Wondering if I'll get to see my friends again next year. Oh. As though they're really popular, it's evidently clear. But after doing three of these, I'm all out of ideas. 364 <laughs> days a year, they're rather vicious. <laughs> There's not much time off in the killing business. I'll need a new sanity meter after all the things I've witnessed. Oh Here dear. Upon the fright before Christmas. Here upon the fright before Christmas. Here upon the fright. Before Christmas. <laughs> He's gone a bit feral. Thanks for watching, and a massive thanks to my incredible patrons for making this video possible. Holy thanks crap! Also to Bonecage for producing the song, and to all of you for supporting. Oh, the that's right, Bonecage worked on this one. Year. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe Christmas. If you enjoyed the song, please do check the playlist for more. Like, comment, subscribe, and jingle those bells. Or why not check out the Patreon or the merch store? In the meantime. I'm on a Zoom call with my family, and I think my grand might be an imposter, so uh, I should have to deal with that. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's fantastic. So yeah, that was uh, Stupendium's Trilogy of Horror Christmas Songs. Thanks for sticking around for this almost 40-minute video. Uh, if you liked this, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all those things. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other Stupendium songs to check out, leave them in the comments below, or any other comedy songs. Uh, but please, like and subscribe uh, to help me get this to reach more eyeballs. And, uh, you know, check out my other videos as well. Hope everybody's having a good holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Festive Kwanzaa, and Merry Festivus for the rest of us. All those other holidays, and just happy holidays, everybody. Hopefully we can make it to the end of 2020. We'll see you next time. Bye. Switch to her maiden name is what Holly did. Celebrated the company's bid. Hans Gruber.